Hello everyone, so we are going to solve problem 1.5 from Kazik and we are going to solve the problem number 3. And the question is y prime minus y is equal to 5.2 and we are asked to find y which is a function of x. Right? So in this case, we can use two methods. The first one is by using separation of variables and the second one is by using integrating factors. Okay, we will try both of them. And first one, I want to use the separation of variables. So if we want to use separation of variables, the first step that we need to do is to rewrite this y prime here as dy dx. So we want to use Leibniz notation because y, because we can see easily where the variables of y and the variables of x goes. So let's rewrite that as this one. And then let's copy the rest of it. Minus y is equal to 5.2. So our goal here is to make all the y in the left hand side. And then all the x into the right hand side. But there is nothing much that we can do from here. So I just want to move this y to the right hand side. Or on uh, we can call it uh, add y to the both sides, okay? And then that means that we have this will be like this, right? So dy over dx is equal to y plus 5.2. And then what can we do here? We can multiply both sides by dx. So we will have dy is equal to this function here dx and dx here will cancel and on the left hand side we only have dy okay and we can separate the separate the variables from here because this is only dx multiplied by some function of y so let's move the function of y to the left hand side and leave the dx on the right hand side so we will have this is equal to dy over y plus 5.2 is equal to dx. Okay, so we so far we simplified this one into this one, right? Okay, let's erase the whiteboard and let's continue. Okay, so far we simplified this one into this one and from here... We can see this is only the y is here and only x is here. So we can integrate both sides like this. So we can integrate this easily because this is only y and on the right hand side this is only x. So we can integrate that easily. So on the left hand side if we integrate this we will have the natural log of y plus 5.2 right and then plus some constant but let's leave it for now because on the right hand side I have integral dx so I will have x plus some constant right so I have constant from here which is this one but from the left hand side we will have also plus constant but then if we move that constant to the right hand side we will have difference of two constants but the difference of two constant is also a constant, so I just write as one constant. Okay, now what can we do from here? So this is in the natural log form. So I want to take the exponential from both sides. So I will have e to the ln y plus 5.2. And then on the right hand side, I will have e to the x plus c and remember that the addition in the exponent can be can be broken down into two so i can rewrite this as e to the x multiplied by e to the c right now e to the c e is a constant 2.7 something and then c here is also a constant so let's rename this let's rename this as c1 right 
So on the right hand side, we will have C1 e to the x. Okay. Now let's see what we get from here. On the left hand side, I will have e to the ln something, and this will cancel out. So we will have only the inside of the natural log. So we'll have y plus 5.2 and then that will equal to this one right so i'll have c1 e to the x but then we can move this 5.2 to the right hand side so i'll have y is equal to c1 e to the x minus 5.2 which is the solution of this differential equation. We can check by in substituting this y into this equation. But that's a later problem. So let's save this from for now. And we are going to solve this using integrating factors. Okay, so now let's clean up the whiteboard. Okay, we will try to solve this differential equation using the second method, which is integrating factors. So, so far, we got this solution by using separation of variables. So, we want to compare that method with this method right now. Okay, now, so let's recall the standard form whenever we have y prime plus some function of ax multiplied by y. And that will equal to some another function px. In this case, we need to multiply both sides by using integrating factor. Let's call the integrating factor that alpha. And alpha is e to the integral of this function here, a to the x dx. Okay, now let's take a look at our differential equation. So here we have ax which is only minus 1 right so in our case here our alpha will be e integral of minus 1 so the ax is minus 1 with respect to x and then so i will have e to the minus x here the integrating factors and to use this integrating factors we multiply both sides of this equation here by using that integrating factor. So we multiply it with e to the minus x. Okay, so now let's clean up the board because I need space to do some manipulation here. Okay, now let's multiply this out. So I will have e to the minus x multiplied by y prime. Or we can rewrite that as dy over dx, right? And then minus e to the minus x multiplied by y. And that will equal to 5.2 e to the minus x. Okay, so far so good. And now we need to take a look at this equation here on the left hand side. The right hand side is simple enough so I want to pay attention to the left hand side and here we have e to the minus x if we name this as u right so if u is e to the minus x and we derive we take the, the derivative of u with respect to x we will have u prime is minus e to the minus x right so and that is exactly this function here so this is a u prime right and then let's name this y as v okay now is our v is y yeah if our v is y then v prime because we take the derivative of y with respect to x which is dy over dx, right? So v prime is dy over dx, and that is exactly this one. So this is v prime. So this all this function is u v prime plus u prime v. 
right? And remember that u v prime plus u prime v is equal to u v prime. So a multiplication of two function, then we take the derivative of it, right? Okay, now let's clean this up and continues. So here we have this u v prime plus u prime v is equal to u v prime. So our u here is e to the minus x. So let's rewrite that e to the minus x and then y here is v. So I will have this is u multiplied by v and because we need to take the derivative of it, we take the d of dx of this function here. Right? So this will equal to this one. And then that will equal to the right hand side. So 5.2 e to the minus x. But then we can integrate both sides, right? Okay. Integrating both sides, we on the left hand side, we can get e to the minus x multiplied by y. And then on the right hand side, we will have integral of 5. 0.2 e to the minus x dx. Okay, now let's clean up our whiteboard because I need some space. Okay, now what can we do from here is to integrate this function because we cannot do anything much on the left hand side. So let's integrate the right hand side. So we will have this one. This is an exponential function and multiplied by some constant. So our Integral will be 5 minus 5.2 e to the minus x. And remember to add some constant. Let's name that constant c1. Okay. And now I want the solution to be the form of y is equal to something. So we divide that by e to the minus x. But that is equal to multiplying the both sides by e to the x. Okay. Now let's multiply this out. e to the minus x multiplied by e to the x will be 1. So we will have only y here. And then this one, e to the minus x will also cancel with e to the minus x. So I will have minus 5.2. And then plus, we get c1 multiplied by e to the x. So this is the solution by using integrating factors. And as you can see here, this is exactly the same as that one. So this is our solution by using integrating factors. Okay, I think we are enough for this problem uh, and we are done. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.